start just moving, uplifting the body. Let's weaken the body a little bit more. Bend your knees. Let's get straight into it. And then we bow forward. When you bow forward, let's even activate here. So you tuck your chin in and you do a little forward roll from here. Come back up, lift. And down. Think about really using your legs here. So legs and back are moving constantly. Dois. and then drop the head and then tuck your chin in Quatro. Cinco. I breathe in here then I breathe out here Seis. two more Sete. one more Oito. Okay, we're gonna go forward now. We're gonna open your feet. So nice and easy for now on your spine. And we'll just turn halfway, go up. Um, come back. Dois. Três. You can let your hip turn with your hip as well. So I'm really turning here, look. Quatro, like I'm going to a tesoura. Cinco. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten, and let's go to the back of your legs from here. So we're just gonna work still quite gentle, and we go stretch. One, two, three, four. Cinco, seis, sete, stay in the back space more, oito, nove, and then we hold for five counts there, um, dois, três, Quatro, cinco, and soft from here. Let's go into our cut stretch now. Knees on the floor, then you curl from here, tuck your chin in, and then arch your back and look up. Um, now really thinking about this spine here, guys. Keep going. Tuck your chin in, say, and then lift. Dois. Três, only four of this. And one more. Quatro. And now we do the same thing, but we take the knees off the floor and we just maintain that posture, soft elbow. So curl. Um. Dois, três, quatro, and come back up. Bend your knees and lift your body up to the ceiling. A lot of okay. people moving their spine is a complete liberation, completely freedom in their capoeira. There are many capoeiristas who you can see before and after they understand more the role of the back so many people move for so many years just on their legs and their arms they literally move leg and arm and they don't nothing he opens and this is not just me because people think oh because he dances no all the masters that i study juan grande all these masters they have so much movement in shoulder in back you know Master Antonio, Master Ponciano, they move this stuff a lot in here. So just consider guys that sometimes if you feel quite stiff, it may be that you haven't done much spine mobility stuff. Step out of capoeira. Yeah, go and do some things that if, you, if you're not sure, just researching that, 
and just do some spine mobility. Okay, let's start Jinga. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, so you can just watch for now. I'm gonna use the bow and arrow here. This is how, this is what I mean by bow and arrow posture. At the back, it's this. See that? That really illustrates here. Okay, let's go. Jinga. And turn. Really imagine, even imagine you've got bow and arrow in your hand and you're shooting behind. Dois. Yeah. Keep going, I'm just gonna put some music now, we're gonna get started more. Okay, Jinga. Strong in your legs here. Let's close the elbow more here. Bring the elbow forward. Quite low, and then you come up and stretch here. So make really stretch from out from your legs. Stop in parallel. Then we move side, hand on the floor. Good. Lift the back leg and hold. I want to have some music, but I want you to understand the movement more. So let's hold the music for now. Okay, come back. This is very simple. You should not be feeling much stretch in there. Opposite to the leg and just lift the back leg. That's it. Just that movement. Come back down to the parallel position. Okay, so now we're just going to start to use the leg a little bit more. So we're going to go left leg, right hand from here. And then what I'm going to do is for now, I'm just going to do a little jump with my right foot and come back. So put your right hand on the floor. So left leg, right hand, turn your right hand out a little bit. Yeah, so my fingers are pointing slightly to where I'm going to jump. My hands turning this way. Yeah. So from here, put your right hand on the floor, left foot, and then you're just going to do a little jump, very little, very little. It's more about this leg swinging here. Um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove. Dez, um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Change side. So now you have your right foot and your left hand on the floor, not too close to your base foot. So put your foot in front a little bit. Put your hand a little farther from your foot and then we do a little jump. Um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez, um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, Days. Very nice. Okay. From here now, right leg behind. And we're going to change for Hastera. So you have your right leg behind. 
you're going to go right and left okay so right leg behind right and left now here's an important point as i go to this middle point here to change this middle point here that's where my body does not go forward so as my leg moves my body goes backwards my body does not go with the leg and that believe me it's a major thing that most people do they move the legs the body follow you want to work like this like a lever so if i show you sideways i'm building all this energy here and my body is going backwards and then i'm going to jump back so it's down jump back and turn your foot so you can go into a real lunge in here okay so let's have your right leg back we go with me low base um. Dois. Três. Quatro. This foot is trying to catch. Cinco. The rasteira foot is trying to catch something there. Seis. Sete. Oito. Nove. Dez. Just a little faster. Um. But stay grounded. Dois. Três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Change foot straight away. Left leg behind. Um, not so fast to begin. Dois, três. Quatro. Really going to that lunge. Cinco. Turn out your foot. Seis. Sete. Keep it grounded, but light. Oito. Nove. Dez. We go a little bit faster. Um. Dois. Três. Quatro. Cinco. Seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Lovely, ok. Cocorinha. So today we're gonna work this bananeira. It's, it's a bananeira all together. We're gonna work this a lot. So let's do our first round to welcome us to the movement okay if you need to move your wrist a little bit you can do a, a grip there make sure there's strong tension between your hands as if they're fighting and you move your wrist back and forth and then round so this will be our bananita for the week maybe i'll talk later about the benefits but believe you me this is a very strong one so we're gonna be in our position and then we're just gonna go from here legs together chin side so for beginners it's essentially a au but I want your arms a little wider than usual so basically you are between these two balancing points here you see you're between these two balancing points you're not right underneath that's a different work when you're right underneath you're really working with the hand balancing idea. When you open more, all the forces are, you, you, are, you are shifting your balance deliberately. So when you travel, you're constantly trying to catch that balance between, okay? So let's go. Open your arms. And from here we go. Close, open. Advance, you close in the middle and open. All right, let's just do 20 now. Um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, 
9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ok. So now we go to that rasteira, and the rasteira links into the AU, okay? So we go from here, you go left leg, one, two, three. Then you jump forward, here, and go into that AU, change side. Land, ginga, let's do it with me. So it's going to be right leg behind, and um, dois, Três. Vai buscar lá. And then now here, I just go hands. Au. And close. Ginga. Left leg behind after three. One. Two. Three. Vai buscar. Now I'm going to put the hands on the floor after I do my rasteira. Look, no hands on the floor. Then au. Everybody, open your arm in au. Open your arm. Ginga. Um. Dois. Três. Busquei. Au. Fecha. Ginga. Ginga. Um. Dois. Três. Busca. Reach. Open arm. Ginga. Um, dois, três. Busca, abre. One more. Um, dois, três. Busca, abriu. Fecha. Ok, very good. Alright. So now we're going to go back to... And just, so we're going to go back to that. This time, my hand's gonna be turned in. So if you watch my hands, I'm gonna use left leg, right hand, but I'm gonna turn my hand in. What is that doing? That is turning my body, right? This doesn't really turn my body. This turns my body. So I want you to take your right hand, and your right hand goes towards your left foot. That's how you think. Left leg, right fingers are pointing towards the left foot. Okay, so we are in this stance here. It may be hard to do too much at the beginning, so just, just go halfway, as long as your hand is not pointing away from your foot. So we go here, and then we're gonna do that jump. And now you can see the body is turning, correct? So let's use this classic movement using two. One, two. One, two. It's a really nice thing, guys. You're going to enjoy this. It's very enjoyable. Um, it's a very enjoyable uh, drill. From here to go one, two. And set. Okay? But it's, what is important here is that I'm going to start with right leg. So I jump one, two, like a ponte. Come back, awu. The AU lands with the left leg. Again, so I'm gonna do right leg. One, two. Then I come back. Left, right. So the way to remember is that you kick your, like you're gonna kick your bum. You're gonna kick your bum. Um, dois. And come back. Um, dois. Okay, that's four. Dois. That's five, six, seven, eight, nove, dez, chain side, left hand on the floor, now you're going to kick with your left foot, um, then you come back. 
Dois. Then you come back. Três. Quatro. Cinco. Seis. Sete. Oito. Nove. Dez. Lovely, ok. From here. Let's go to our next lot. Now, if you turn out, if your wrists soft a little bit on this, just turn out your hands a little bit. So wide arms, turn out your hands. For the elbow, advance, kick the leg now between. Kick the leg between. This is it, guys. You're fully warmed for this. Put all your effort now to kick the leg between. Okay? Let's go. So we are going from here. I go up, down. So it's the same AU, but I'm trying to kick the leg between. Okay. Um. Dois. Três. Quatro. Cinco. Seis. Try to keep your arms straight. Sete. Oito. Nove. Dez. Um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. All right. Very nice. We're back to this movement here now, where you go for the rasteira, and then we switch back. So we go one, two, three, rasteira, and then just come back. Let's think of this. Left, right, right, left. Left, right, Behind, left, left, right, right, left. What sideways? The left leg goes in front. Right leg goes back. So it's boom. Now this is my body. Really, what's happening to the body here? So the legs are moving, and I want you to think. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so let's have left leg behind. I'm gonna do sideways so you can see more. And side, stay profile now. Um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis. Body is going one, set. Oito, nove, três, um, go faster, dois, três, stretch arm more, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez, switch legs, so now we have right leg behind. So left leg in front, sweep left leg. Now your left leg crosses behind to come back. Stay profile. E, um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete. This is just a drill. Oito, nove, dez, 
Un plus 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Ok Another important point here Listen up everybody Do not underestimate the power of plyometrics <laughs> If I write a book, which I will One chapter will be Do not underestimate the power of plyometrics If you want to take your cup to the next level There's a few things One of them is this kind of work Of course this kind of work has to go back to the game and embellish in, out, fall but this is the stuff that makes you be so effortless when what is plyometrics? all of this stuff yeah, jump, jump all of these things if you look there if you look some of, some of the masters in the past the amount of plyometrics is almost like the whole class is a repetition of plyometrics. It's all based in that. Because you become really, you know, so before it comes back to all this beautiful, um, think about, it's the same nature of tennis, all this sport that's like, you know, football, they all use plyometrics. Think about a footballer's training. It's all about plyometrics because it makes your, your muscles and your nervous system much more connected. Okay? So now we're going to use, let's see where we are with these ideas so far. We're going to add a Habjahaya. Yeah? Meia lua de compasso. So for now, I want you to be side. You're going to do a Habjahaya and then you're going to go into a sharp de French. Okay, again, watch. Hab the higher. The kicking leg, sharp de French. And then from here, I'm going to drop into a hastera on the floor. Sweep. Okay, right leg behind. Right leg behind. I'm relating to you. So you're going to kick your right leg. Kick. Chapa de frente, come back with a rasteira, low, like a negativa, then sweep, back, left leg behind, half the higher, switch, chapa, now from here, I go into this, you see, from here, I'll get a little closer so you can see, from here, to here, I go floor all the way, then I sweep. Okay, so let's do 10 of those. Left leg behind, um, um guys. Sorry, is there a way that when you switch, when you kick and you come back, can you turn your foot? So you're sweeping straight away. This is what I mean. This is easy. From here should be, you see? So it's turn, turn, forward, sweep. All right, let's go. Jinga. I'm gonna count three, okay? One, two, then we stop. Three. Habja high. Sharp. Go back, hasteira, jinga, jinga, I'm going to count three, then we stop on three, um, dois, três, rabo de arraia, chapa, go back, sweep, jinga, jinga, I'm going to count three, one, Two, three, half the higher, sharper, go back, 
Jing. We're gonna stop on three. Right leg behind for you guys. One, two, three. Go back. One more with the right leg. Right leg behind. Um. Dois. Três. Chapa. Rasteira. Okay, very nice. So this is what we've got so far. We have this rasteira. Au. Then this is a habjahaya. Then is a chapa. Then come back. And hands go forward. All right, let's try. Beginners, stay with me. We're gonna come back to basic. Try your best now. And we're gonna come back to the base. I think you'll be able to do most of this. Let's go. Um, dois, três. Sweep. Au. Close. Lent. Now what you do is you turn your body. Abjahaya, Chapa, Rasteira, Back, Ginga. And um, and dois, and três. Sweep. I will land and stop. Now look, pivot your body, pivot your body all the way back. Now you can kick. Chapa, Rasteira, Ginga, two more, two more, Ginga, I'm going to face you now, um, dois, três, e um, I will land, now pivot your body, look, um, kick, Chapa, Rasteira, Last one, last one. Um, dois, três, rasteira. Land and stop. Pivot. Habjahaya. Chapa. Come back. Lovely, lovely. Very nice. Now we're going to do some basic drills. To a negativa, all the way to the floor. And then we go to a push up. Come back to negativa. Queda de quatro. Negativa. Push up. Negativa. Queda de quatro. I'll show you backwards. I keep the hand behind. Make sure this arm is close to my body. Negativa. Keep your chest down. Negativa. Queda de quatro. Um, dois, três, quatro. Now it's really important that you turn your hip. Observe how much my hip is going to turn. Observe my hip. Um, turn. Let's go. Um. Dois. Três. Center. 
Half forward, turn your hands out. Come back. Half forward. Come back. Advance full bridge now. Come back. Come back. Squat it down. Just balance. Okay, let's stretch our shoulders, turn your toes in. Strong grip. Hold. Come back up. Okay, now we're gonna do the aeroplane. So this, this exercise, last class, a lot of people realize how much this movement will connect with the two worlds, up and down. Your body plays such an important role here that you understand what happens to the body after you do a kick. So we're gonna work the drill that teaches your body to go wherever you want to go after you've, just, you've done a kick, okay? It's a simple exercise, you've done it before with me. So, we're gonna go stretch, right leg in front, open arm. Doesn't even need to be high, just here, okay? And then we're just gonna think about the aeroplane, supporting leg is bent. We're gonna do a, 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 like a queixada. That leg is straight. And then here we're gonna lower the body and put the opposite hand to the front leg. Then the body from here, the body from here becomes soft. You come back up. And then you stretch. Now super straight here. Now this is the most important part. It's when you get to a stiff place, your upper body has to give in. That's where I want you to practice. That's too early. But here, look. And then fall. Okay, let's work on this. All right, prepare. Right leg in front. Let's stay solid now. Boom. Really juicy. Keep your leg high. Soft. Good. Soft. Stiff leg. Lean backwards a little more. Face. Pull the belt in. Quack. Pull the belt in strong. Point your foot. Sink. Try to go high on that leg now. So we're gonna go high here now, look. Six. Seti. and then turn to the ceiling. Change foot. Boom. Make sure the leg, the leg makes the body turn. Loose. Soft. 
Don't rush, guys. Três. Try to control your hand before you. Quatro. Six. Higher and higher. Seven. Eight. Nine. Stretch now. Soft. Okay. Let's go for our bananera today. And then we're gonna go back to the sequence. Okay? But just before, this movement that I just showed you guys. My God, we can do a whole class on this. So many variations for the body here. Even to escape from rasteiras. All of this stuff here, look. When you turn here. When you go from here, and then you wanna go back there. For you to do hand spin, your body's gonna spin so easy by this change here. I'm not even putting effort. I'm not even putting effort. All I'm doing here is I'm thinking about this as I turn. Okay. All right, good. Better need that. We're gonna go the same one, huh? Same one. From here, this time, we go a little more narrow with the hands. Not so wide. A little more narrow. You can have soft elbows here, and it's push, land, push, land. Beginners, do a little kick, look, beginners, do a little kick, and land. Let's go, with me. Get ready, um. Dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez, um, dois. more to do but this next 20 we're going to activate more here so I want you to think about this position here you really have to arch your back now remember the beginning of the class I spoke about this everybody include beginners include advanced go to your knees and just stick your bum out 
Stick your bum out. Hold. Okay. And curl. Stick your bum out. The arm is going to go backwards. And curl. It's a great exercise to do holding a stick. You can do as a homework, okay? Hold like a stick. Yeah? As advanced, you can even do on a tiptoe. So you arch your back a lot. And then you curl, close. Arch your back. Keep going more than you think. Arch, arch, arch. Come back. Two more. Come back. One more. It's a really nice practice, okay? For you to do as homework. Okay, so let's try to use this. Beginners, you're gonna do the same, but you're not gonna kick the leg, so it's safer. You're now trying to send this behind you. Advance, send behind, and then kick the leg. This is how it works. We are in this position. You need to watch here now. So I'm sending, I'm arching my back as I do the bananera. I'm not sure if you can see, I'm gonna do one very close to you. Yeah, so I'm lifting this part of my body. For the advance, it's the same thing with the kick. Okay, 20 of those, let's go. Prepare. In. Dois. Três. Quatro. Cinco. Seis. Sete. Oito. Nove. Dez. Counting down now. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Oito. Sete. Seis. Cinco. Quatro. Três. Dois. Okay, shoulders. I'm back halfway. Now we're gonna close feet, release index finger, bend your knees, push strong enough. Okay. Okay, so if you struggle with this one, if you could see what I was doing but you could not understand in your body, then it's all a matter of going back to drills. It's all a matter of doing this drill, then doing just this leg going back. So you think about this leg, this leg is telling my hip to bend. So you go back to some basic drills for your body to start to understand that, okay? You may have to open the movement and work different parts. But when you get that hip, it's almost impossible to forget. Once, 
once you get the hip posture, every time you go to that bananera, your hip finds its place, okay? So it takes a little practice, that practice that pays off a lot. Okay, we're gonna go back to our sequence now to finish the class. So, I'm gonna put a little twist in there. From the jinga, my advance, I want you to just blend things a little more, okay? So instead of too big, just here. But remember we came back, and that's what we're gonna do now. We're not gonna do a woo from there. We're gonna come back and do the habja higher. It's really pretty, look. So I go here, boom, hey, ha, hey, ha. Then I go for my hastena, and then from here, I put the hand to go into a ponchi. All right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow down the ponchi because I am, uh, I was training with this the other day and I think I've pinched my back a little bit. So I'm gonna take it easy, but you guys do the ponchi. I'll do some as well, of course, of course. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm gonna start with my back to you and then facing you. Um, dois, três, sweep. Come back, kick, chapa, get super close to the floor, sweep, right hand go forward, go into a pause. Um, dois, três, sweep, come back. Abdiahai, Shapa, Hastera, get big. 